Hi gang, this is version 1 of my BB-8 droid build and in this video I'll show you how I made it. For anyone not familiar with the BB-8, it's this droid from the new Star Wars movies. In the comments to my previous video, a lot of you had suggested using steel balls under the head, which I've now tried, so that's here too. I start with this small radio controlled truck, which I got at a garage sale. It has forward, reverse, and the front wheels turn left and right. And here it is from underneath. I unscrew and remove the cabin and then the plastic chrome pieces. That leaves just the wheelbase. Then I found this 12 inch diameter globe. I sliced it open along the equator and after removing some support material was left with a nice smooth interior. For a quick test I put the truck inside and taped the globe back together. It worked okay for back and forth though it wasn't always in the same direction straight. Probably because the truck climbs up the wall too high and slides around inside. Hopefully that would be better once more support structure was added inside. Turning didn't seem to work at all. And if I went too fast the truck would end up upside down and it wouldn't work anymore. Opening it up you can see it's upside down. Why doesn't the turning work? On the floor the truck turns easily. But inside the ball it looks like the wide wheels can't overcome the curvature of the interior of the ball. So I removed the front wheels and make some new ones by cutting up some plastic sheets from a hobby shop. I build up wheel rims from more plastic. For the tire I have an o-ring from an automotive parts store. Here are the new wheels in place. And as you can see they turn nicely inside the ball. Testing on the floor shows it turns with around a 4 foot to 2 foot radius. Next I'll need these rollers, although originally for another purpose. After a lot of experimenting with what I have already, I noticed that using a pipe cutting tool on this brass tube from a hobby store leaves a burr on the end. I find a marble that fits nicely in there. From more testing, I find that if I have the marble roll on a wooden dowel inside and I keep the marble from contacting the burr, then I get fairly easy rolling. And here's the final brass tube with a hole in the side. The marble goes in first. I prepared a short dowel with a screw on one end for easy manipulation and a well positioned hole on the side. I insert the side screw and the result is a pretty good roller. I make four of those. I need a lightweight but sturdy plate for this internal support. So I cut this piece of thick plastic and mark it up. After drilling holes for mounting the magnets, I put a nylon bolt with nuts in each hole. I also put a nut at the top and use hot glue to attach the magnets. I hot glue them such that the polarity for two adjacent ones are one way and the other two are the other way. I then hot glue some rollers to the mounting plate. Note that I later removed these because they're too heavy and not needed, but as you'll see I find another use for them. And lastly I attach a wood hub I'd made for an older project. For mounting to the truck I start by drilling some holes in the chassis to insert some bolts. Then I prepare a piece of plastic with holes in it and attach another wood hub from that older project. I then insert that on the truck. To connect the two I use a brass tube with some black tape on the ends to make tight fits in the wooden hubs. Sitting it in the bottom of the ball, I find that the top is so heavy that it tips over. So I make and hot glue these plastic supports to either end. I also remove the rollers from the top plate and use rubber bands to attach them to some scrap wood from an older project. I bolt them to the plastic supports. Along the way I also added these washers here for extra weight. Now when I try it, it doesn't tip over. You may also have noticed this battery pack here. The truck originally ran on just two batteries. To get a longer run time without charging the batteries, I decided to add two more in parallel. So I slipped some thin copper plates in here at the positive and negative outputs and hot glued a battery case on the top. Then I use a terminal strip or terminal block to connect both sets of batteries negatives together and the positives together. Lastly, time to work on the head. To start with I put the internals inside the ball and let magnets be attracted to the ones inside. I take measurements of how far apart they are. Then I cut and hot glue some plastic into this cross and mark F's for the front and B's for the backs on the legs and hot glue the magnets on. Remember for the magnets inside two of them have polarity one way and two are the other way. So I pay attention to that when attaching these to the cross. Time to test. It's a bit of a struggle. First I have to figure out which way the truck is oriented inside by moving the globe back and forth. Then I look at the lettering on the cross and find where it sits. It can get stuck and that's where a magnet inside gets too close to a magnet on the cross. In that case I simply pull it off and put it back on. 
It can also fall off if the magnets are too far away inside, but once it's tuned, it's fairly reliable. But it's still just a plastic cross intended as the base for the head. I had intended to use this soccer ball, which weighs 72 grams, or 2.5 ounces. Then I think I can make something lighter by making one out of paper mache. But to my surprise, when fully dry, that's even heavier. So I start with this cardboard dome shape. But it turns out even that's too heavy, no matter what I do. Moving the magnets closer inside will just get the truck stuck again. Then I make that lighter by cutting out the unnecessary mass. And that one stays on, but just barely. So for this version, I'll stick with using mostly just the cross alone. In the comments to my first video, a lot of you have suggested using steel rollers on top instead of magnets to reduce friction. For those rollers, I'm starting with these steel ball bearings from a bicycle. They have to be small since weight is an issue. They fit nicely into this brass tube. Brass is not attracted to magnets, but the steel ball is. I use the pipe cutter to cut off a piece. That leaves a burr on one end that keeps the ball from falling out. Then I make some lengthwise cuts. With the ball in the tube and some of it bent back, one piece gets bent inward to keep the ball in place and for the ball to roll against. The result is a lightweight roller with a ball that's attracted to the magnets. I make four of them. I add extra magnets inside since there won't be any outside to add to the total field strength. With the internals inside the ball, I try to put a ball bearing on top, but the magnetic field is too weak. So I open it up and raise the magnets. After closing it up again, the steel ball bearings stick from the magnetic attraction. I take some measurements and use them to position and hot glue my rollers to the plastic cross. I try it out, but I find if the magnets inside are too far away, then the head just rolls off. With the magnets close enough to keep the head on, the truck isn't strong enough to pull away. So these rollers have too little friction, at least for this version. And that's the build for version one of my BB-8 droid. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel for more neat builds like this. If I make an improved version of the BB-8, then there'll be a video for that. There's one where I take apart a pet toy laser and add it to a Star Wars TIE Fighter and Star Trek Enterprise models. And for easy fun, one on how to make music instruments using straws. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.